the good, the bad, the ugly. Voting special. Here we are, middle of October. Uh, elections are not that far away. So the good, the bad, the ugly, voting special. Number one, the good. You know, it's really great to see that social media can be used for good versus evil. And especially with some of the younger kids, the teens, the tweens out there that, you know, they're really promoting getting out and voting. Um, even if you're a teen or a tween and you can't yet vote, just the excitement that you bring to the table of, hey, one day you will be able to vote. And that it's important that you do vote uh, in, to get your voice heard. Uh, often it's the younger gen it's the younger folks, the, the teenage, uh, late teens, the early 20 folks that are not really involved in politics. They might vote for president, but they're not really involved in politics. It's great. Get out there and vote and know your local issues because those are the ones that are really most important for your life. The bad uh, is uh, that... I'm frustrated here in New Jersey that the polls are actually closed and that I can't take my kids to vote with me. They are young teens now, but ever since they were small kids, that was always a ritual. Every voting day, we'd go there and we'd vote, especially when there's a presidential election, we would um, you know, enjoy our candidate and oftentimes the house was split and who, who they wanted and the kids and the, the adults or well, half of the adults, half the kids but uh, a fun time going to the polls. So the bad is that, you know, here in New Jersey, that kind of thing has been ripped away from us. Um, and, you know, hopefully in the future that we can get recapture that. And the next time there's a presidential election, uh, my kids will actually be old enough to vote. So that'll be a whole different kind of uh, special experience. And then the ugly is that, uh, you know, in Hoboken, there was definitely this whole undercurrent of vote by mail for decades that I've been here. The, the, the underlying seediness of vote by mail and the buying of votes that really came to the forefront um, when uh, you know Frank Rea actually went to jail this past uh, pre-COVID for uh, a vote by mail fraud. You know, for decades it's been going on and he finally went to jail just uh, you know, just this past uh, uh, winter time, uh, spent a whole couple of weeks there um, for all the votes that he bought. And the thing that's really ugly about it is, you know, passing by um, the uh, Hopes building on Third and Garden Street, which is a big pre-K provider in Hoboken. There's his name, Frank Rea Annex, right on the building still. He's still on the board of directors there. And, you know, his name is still on the building. And yet, he spent time in jail this year for voter fraud. What is the irony in all of that? I wonder. So I'd like to leave you with a little inspirational quote. Um, it's been attributed to uh, Mark Twain, but I don't know if, uh, if it is really true, but uh, here it is for you. So if voting made any difference, they wouldn't let us do it. And isn't that really the truth? Uh, so this has been the Brian Murray Show. Thank you so much for watching. As always, all episodes of The Brian Murray Show can be found on the Murray Property Group website under the blog section. You can find me on social media. You can find me on Instagram and Facebook and LinkedIn. And please do comment. Give me some likes. Give me some shout outs. Um, do appreciate that. Um, and if again, if there's anything that you disagree with in the show, please reach out to me directly and I'll show you why you're wrong. <laughs>